Sly Nation is sponsored by The Awesome Couple. Check them out at theawesomecoupleshop.com for affordable prices on box Pokemon products, toys and plushes, and so much more. The Awesome Couple, keeping Sly Nation stock and making Pokemon card collecting affordable again. What's up Sly Nation? Welcome back to another Pokemon TCG Deck Tech. Today we're going over a, a deck or a variation of a deck that has literally taken over the meta by storm. Everyone's basically... Obviously... Either. You guys already know what it is. It is Garbodor with Trashalanche. Yeah, tra Trashalanche. <laughs> it's hard to say. Like, but anyway. Trashalanche. Trashalanche. Something like that. It is absolutely taken over. We made a little variation of it because we faced our buddy uh, Fred who made this deck. And it mm -hmm. wrecked us. And um, there's a lot, like I said, we'll probably do different, um, what we call it, versions of it uh, coming up. But we're going to show you the first one that we made. Um, this one's based on Evolutions. Why? Because uh, Eevee and it's, it's awesome. Evolutions, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, very, very annoying. So we got four Eevee right here from Sun and Moon. Super awesome with the energy evolution. You can get all the Evolutions out if you have the right energies. Um, the reason why we use uh, Eevee because of this annoying bugger right here. The Confusion. Espeon GX. The Confusion is absolutely brutal. One psychic energy. Absolutely brutal. It is like the world's most annoying thing ever. You guys already know what um, Espeon GX does, but let's get a focus. Okay, nice job camera, here we go. Psybeam being absolutely a big disruptor. We have Divide GX and Psychic. You know, Psychic does a lot of damage too. So this guy is great for early game. He's absolutely brutal. Um, confusing everybody, nobody runs full heals and stuff. And you know, um, what's the other one? Uh, big Malasada. Um, Pokemon Center Lady. Too bulky, guys. Not a lot of people run them, so that's why Espeon's really good to stall until your opponent has to use a lot of things to get their Pokemon in play. And by then, you have a ton of items. Why is it Evolutions? Because we're running a copy of Jolteon, Vaporeon, Flareon. These guys, with their abilities, uh, Flare Effect, Aqua Effect, and Electric Effect, you basically turn Stage 1 Pokemon, your Espeon and your Garbodor, into a Electric type, Water type, and a Fire type, along with um, whatever type they are already. So mm -hmm. it's absolutely amazing. Um, this is really, really good to absolutely counter any sort of, not really counter, but like even one up yourself, um, in terms of being able to destroy another deck that is weak to any of these. So if you're facing any sort of leaf, you know, instead of doing 30 damage to Espeon, you're doing 60 now. Stuff like that. It's really, it's a really good, uh, good support cards. Um, they're going out of rotation soon, so use them while you can. Then we have Mr. Trubbish. Hmm. As I already know, Trubbish to get your Garbodor out. A little trash bag. I'm trying to get super anal about getting it nice and done. <laughs> there you go. And then we have two Trash Lance Garbodors. You don't need that many because they are absolutely destructive. Late game. They die. Your opponent only gets one prize. Super awesome. Then we have a Garbotoxin uh, Garbodor, just like. You know, sometimes you run into decks that are very, very Pokemon power heavy. Um, this could be that ace card where you can wreck them. I was thinking of running another one, but I'm trying to make room for this deck. Um, there's a lot you can do with this. Uh, and it's always, always up to revision. Tapu Lele. Yay. Run a Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele is great. Um, helps you get that first turn Lily in if you're running Lily. Gets you that Professor Sycamore and when you absolutely need it. Gets you that delinquent when you need to screw your opponent when he has three cards. You guys already know. Shaman EX. Uh, why? Because Shaman's still pretty darn good for draw support. Uh, you don't really need to actually turbo, not turbo, but like get every card in your hand um, right away. You don't need like eight, not eight, sorry, five bench Pokemon. Once you have Espeon out, you're pretty happy, but um, sometimes Shaman helps you give you that oomph that you need um, just to get that card that you need. Not super draw heavy and poor, but still useful. All right, we got Professor Sycamore, four of them. Um, absolute staple, staple draw support and supporter. Don't even have to explain that, guys. We got two N. We're not running that many N because we don't really need that many N. Um, but Sycamore is our draw supporter, and you'll see later on with our item cards. Um, we can survive with two N. Uh, two Lysander, very, very typical of any deck. Ooh, I'm getting, this is so, this is like the best one I've done. Everything's so nice and neat. Um, two, two Lysander, very standard. 
delinquent. I love running delinquent. Um, both both as both both as offensive and uh, defensive. Um, get your opponent uh, discarding cards in their hands. A um, lot of lot of decks are very very heavy on the uh, stadiums nowadays. So that's a very good card, and I find that um, running one gets you out of a lot of interesting situations and can really screw your opponent on the draw uh, game. Um, Verse Seeker. I've, you know, Verse Seeker, a lot of people use it to get the Lysander, use it to get the Sycamore. I find that a lot of times I end up using Verse Seeker to get that delinquent, like I was saying, and screwing your opponent over. Verse Seeker, absolutely standard four of them in a deck. Um, no need to explain why. Trainer's Mail. Ooh, thank you for your support. Trainer's Mail is very good too. Um, it gets you the cards that you need and is really, really great to thin out your deck if needed. Not much uh, you have to say about Trainer's Mail. All these standards, standard uh, four Ultra Balls. Ultra Balls are very important here over any other balls. Um, <laughs> um, what? Uh, I, I, said, I said Ultra. <laughs> um, it's great to get out your Flareon, Vaporeon, and Jolteon because we're not actually running any of those type of energies because they don't really add value to this deck. Um, Ultra Ball is great to get that Shaman turn one or whatever turn that you want to. Uh, you, well, you need to get cards because you don't have a supporter or you, or, you, or you already use your supporter. And getting Lele out is really important too to grab that supporter if needed. Very awesome. And the nice part about having Lele is that your Psychic deck, you can use Tapu Cure GX if you need. Not that you need it, but... Um, and Energy Dive is actually not a bad attack, guys. Um, so Choice Band. Awesome, awesome card. That's like all I can say about that card. That card is absolutely brutal. Um, you know, everyone's running EX or GX nowadays. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's like 50-50 now. Maybe more towards the GX side now. But... That is a car that you can't go without in any decks. That is one of the best trainers in this set. Um, then we have a Field Blower, another excellent trainer. Um, this thing is just so annoying. Can get rid of two two cards uh, or a, um, wait, any combination of two cards and Stadium stadiums, cards. basically, in play. Yours or your opponent. So if you have like a Floatstone on, um, I don't know, Espeon, for example, but you need 20 more damage to kill someone. You can use the field blower and then attach a choice band if you have it. Super clutch. Then we have a rescue stretcher. This is another really, really, really good card because, come on guys, you can put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand straight away or shuffle three Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. This is absolutely amazing. Like we're running three Trubbish, uh, three Garbodor, one of them being Garbotoxin. You lose one, use rescue stretcher, you're all good. You lose an Espeon, you need it, it's all good. Shame in EX. You need more draw. All good. Oops. Two Floatstone. Uh, Floatstone's important for any sort of Lysanders on the wrong cards. Um, Garbotoxin, Garbodor needs a tool. Um, Floatstone being the better one to get them out of sticky situations. Uh, Floatstones are absolutely awesome. I love them. I absolutely love them. Escape Rope. Always a good card to have just to get yourself out of certain situations. You never know. Evo Soda, another great card to get. Oh, that's really shiny. Look at that. That is to get out your Espeons, your Flareons, your Garbodors if needed without discarding any cards in your hand with Ultra Ball. Very good. We have a Super Rod to get energies out because, we're, as you can see, we have a lot of trainers, right? We're, we're probably not going to be able to get the energies that we need sometimes. We mm -hmm. need that Super Rod to get them out. Um, I know that we have a Rescue Stretcher. We'll see how we do some testing on it and see what we can do. We might need, we might want to take one out and add more energies. I don't know. We'll see. Two Parallel Cities. I like Parallel City because it's pretty disruptive. Very, very good card to And kind annoy. of annoying. Yeah, yeah. Disruptive, annoying. Um, helps you discard your Shaman if required. You know? Maybe you have a very hurt Espeon on your uh, on your bench. Got to use it. And, it. and it slows down fire, water, and uh, whatever. Um, uh, leaf, leaf. Mm -hmm. from the opponent and we're running four double colorless energies which is great because you have Espeon with the Divide GX with the Psychic Espeon is just so powerful DCE gets you that quick and fast um, damage mm -hmm. when needed turn two damage oops oh, I'm ruining it up. I'm messing everything up um, double colorless energy is actually good for uh, 
Lele, too, with the Energy Dive or uh, Shaman Sky Return. Um, everything here uses Double Colorless Energy. Even, like, Acid Spray from Garbodor and uh, Offensive Bomb, which we'll never use. But uh, DCE is great. Can't go with uh, can't Can't do bad with, with one or a few of them. And then we're running Psychic Energies. We're running six. There's not many energies in this deck. You don't really need that many energies. Um, you have so much draw support from Sycamore. Blah, blah, blah. You, you can even discard, you know, two or three using a Sycamore. You can get them back later with Super Ad. It's all good. Um, but yeah, so uh, this is the uh, version of Gar Garbodor Trash Lanch that we've made. Um, I know there's another popular one. I think the next one I want to make is uh, Drampa. Drampa GX. Because it is just so overpowered. So Drampa GX has an attack that does, I believe, 80 damage. If there's any damage counters on your bench, it does 70 more damage. So you, you can get it up in turn two, one energy, and then double close energy, and you're ready to attack. You can use it in conjunction with rainbow energy and damage something on your bench, and then you do 150 every single turn. It's amazing. So that can strut you off, and then you use Garbodor in the end to trash the lanch, and it's just freaking untouchable. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Um, this is a deck that I look forward to playing with because I got wrecked by it. Oh, my phone's dying. That's great. Um, I got wrecked by it. It looks like a lot of fun. This is my version of it. Um, hopefully you guys um, enjoy this. Let us know what you uh, plan on making. If you end up doing this, let me know how you guys do uh, following this build. Um, it is a build that I'm going to play with a little bit. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. Please like, share, subscribe for more awesome Pokemon TCG content. Um, we will get you that Drampa deck coming out soon and some other decks that we find that might be fun. Um, every single like top 8 finish is like something something Garbodor. Something something Garbodor. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, yep. I think this might uh, break the meta and the uh, the format nowadays. But yeah, all good as always, guys. We will catch you guys later.